Hello everybody, Astro Manda here reviewing the Dragon Ball Super Hit figure from Bandai. And I've been pretty excited to get this figure since I saw pictures of it at New York Comic Con 2017. I've been trying to look for it in retail at GameStop and Target and Walmart, but unfortunately I can't find it. So I have to buy it from Amazon for more than retail for sure. So I'm hoping it's worth the bite. Alright, so this is Hit comes with two extra pair of hands your grabbing hands and his default fist hands and he also comes with the build a figure part of Zamusu it's the bottom torso well this is when he fuses with like Goku so pretty much from well from the first time I got it it was it was pretty fun to play with the figure but I mean there are some gripes, but there are more pros. Since, you know, it's Bandai and $20, I guess I can't argue. Well, retail is $20, but I didn't pay for that much. Alright, so here, Hit has good, great paid apps, you know, just how it is in the anime. Comes out well. And it catches that anime look for it, for sure. Not as for the manga. Well, it seems like my head has a little nose scratch. I guess Goku must have fought him earlier. Alright. So pretty much here, let's go. Hit can go all around with his arm. Double jointed. Excellent. Can go up and down. And let's see. And I guess it has limited articulation. Like what? Oh, here we go. I guess you just have to pop it. And the same can be spoken for both arms. Seems like I have to heat one of the to heat the arm joints since it's a little tight. <clears throat> it seems like pulling the hands is a little bit hard, so I'm gonna use the hot water or hair dryer. Oh wow, this is actually pretty tight. So I'm gonna go back with the fist. Sorry, viewers. Alright. So, yeah, so we'll see the head. You can turn left and right, but it's very limited. And you can't go up and down, just left and right. And since his collar is so thick, you might cause some pain damage, so be careful out there, whoever gets this figure. Sadly, no back or ab crunch. So I guess it's gonna just have to work out that way. The skirt, it's a little bit tough, but not so bad that you can, you know, pose him out and put him in sick positions how he is in the show. Like, wow. Right there, he actually grabbed on. Oops. You know, as for legs, double jointed, which is great. But he can't really go back. Oh, he could. It kind of looks weird in the bag when you're trying to use a skirt. You could do the Van Damme splits, but they're not. <laughs> but since the skirt is so thick, the skirt is so thick, it might cause some damage to it, actually. That's what I just did right now. Let's see. Ankle pivot. It's there, actually. It's really there, huh? That's amazing. Just for Bandai. For a figure that retails for $19.99. Now let's do some scale comparisons with the fig arts. Here we got Vegeta, he's in god form. Which actually looks pretty good. You know, it's, it is tall in the anime. Swap him out with Goku. Here's my fig arts Goku custom Super Saiyan 2 here by Fairy Tail Customs. It actually works out pretty good. Since Hit is taller than Goku as well. And then let's compare it with another Bandai retail figure. Here we got Evil Goku or KK Clone Goku. Still overpowering height, which is good. And then our Marvel Legends Magus. 
Yeah, I guess they're both purple. Brother. And right here, seems like the Marble Legends is a little, it's a little bit more taller, but you know, if you're not a high problem person, then you're good to go. It's pretty much just with a few grabs of with his figures. His arms seem to be a little bit long, or is it just me? Maybe you would, when you posture for battle, it wouldn't be that bad. And I just wish it had more extra hands, since, you know, it has those little stances like Goku fingers. So if you guys ever find this figure for the original retail price of $19.99 or $22.99 at GameStop, then you should totally pick this up. But if you don't want to pay the, you know, above per retail price, I recommend just waiting off or waiting for the figure rise kit. Who knows? They might release one or figure it might announce one soon. I mean, I'm hoping so because it's a, it's a great figure for sure. But I, I mean, I wouldn't mind having an extra one. That's a bit more, I don't know, extra accessories. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, and everyone have a good day. Bye.